Yeah, I just want to wish uh, Gonzaga the best this season. Coach Few, we got a lot of respect for him and this program. You know, after the game and the handshake lines, Coach was like, hey, Chris, thanks for coming here and playing the game. Um, and I want to write back at you, Coach. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. And we'll have these guys back in Austin next year. And, um, you know, sitting there last night watching Villanova play at UCLA, uh, I just think it's what's right. It's, it's what should happen in college basketball. You know, I think the best teams in the country should play real road games. And Coach Fuse always been a guy that will do that, and, and we will too. You know, we look forward to playing a lot of games like this. Uh, and so I think it's just what's right for college basketball. It felt right last night watching that Nova UCLA game, and then tonight felt right. Now, I wish we would have played a lot better. Um, I wish we would have, you know, put a better product on the court for all the college basketball fans tonight. I did think we had played a lot of grit in the second half and established some things uh, that cer we certainly want to continue to establish as our journey continues. But, um, you know, just congratulate Gonzaga on, a, on an early season, really good win. Um, you know, I've been fortunate in my coaching career, coach places where we've developed a home court atmosphere, and it's as good as I've seen uh, with that student section down the sideline. Uh, we had a great crowd the other night in Austin, and we're certainly striving to build something uh, like they have here at Gonzaga in terms of student attendance. So um, we wish we would have played better. I know it was a big game for everybody in college basketball, especially coming after last year's COVID season. So we felt a great responsibility to, to play a good game tonight. Uh, it wasn't for lack of effort. Our guys were dialed in. It's a hurt locker room right now, um, but we'll be back. You know, I promise you that we'll be back. Um, I, I just think we, we weren't as locked in as we should have been. Um, I mean, we obviously studied very hard all week, but um, just simple mistakes. I mean, I made a big mistake on the first play of the game, and it's inexcusable as a leader on this team. Um, I mean, we put all the preparation into it. I just think we had to come out um, just more aggressive. I mean, it was just something we talked about all week, um, and they took it to us a little bit early. Um, so we just got to learn from that and come back better. That said, though, the start of the second half, Yeah, um, I think just we're best when we're at, we're being really aggressive. I mean, we got a bunch of guys who are really skilled, and we play when we play up, we play well as a team and get it inside and out. Um, and we just kind of had a regular abandon at the beginning of the first half, and um, we got some stuff going. Um, and we just got to continue to look to build off of that. Timmy, what, what makes it so difficult to guard Timmy? I mean, he's a low man. Um, he's true six ten. He's strong. Um, he plays his angles very well. Um, he's not the most athletic guy, but um, I've never played someone like that. Um, so a lot of respect to him. And um, it's hard It's hard to guard, guard a guy like that when they have such good players around him too. Um, so credit to them and credit to him. Yeah, yeah. I know Coach says, you know, earlier this week, win or lose, you guys are going to be better from this. I know it's probably hard to digest now as a loss, but you feel like playing in this environment against this team is this yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, especially so early in the season, I mean, this is exactly what we could ask for. Um, obviously, we wanted to win, um, not the outcome we wanted, but um, this is just something we could look to grow from. I mean, playing the number one team in the country our second game. Um, so um, we're going to be tested down the line time and time again. So uh, we're just going to go from this and look back on this and just, just be better. Questions for Coach, please? Yeah, first four-minute game was disappointing defensively. Um, if I had to do it back again, I might have just spent every time out I had. You know, I used to do that in the JUCO days. Um, it's the way to do it anyway because you want to get the game over to get out of there. Cause eight hour ride home, CC's closes at 10. So, um, no, I wish I could have helped the guys a little bit more early. They got us on some simple pick and roll tags. Um, we knew the first play of the game was going to be pick and roll, high lift. Coach does that all the time. We just we just didn't get it done um, from a coaching standpoint or a playing standpoint. Um, thought we scored enough points in the first four minute game. We were kind of sh trading baskets, but uh, we couldn't have played any any worse defensively the first four minutes of the game. But credit them, you know. I mean, they were really aggressive. Obviously, uh, point guard special. He just takes care of the ball. He knows who he is. They know who their best player is, Timmy. Um, you know, Chet might be the number one pick in the draft, but I think he understands who Timmy is too. So they have an identity offensively. They have point guard play. They're really, they're really good. They're as good as advertised. Chris, can you expound on what it's like to press the scout, use tape, see what Drew Timmy can do, and then actually go up and face them and, and be a, a book? 
Sorry, man, I can't hear you with that mask. Doc, can you expound on uh, what it's like to prep for Drew Timmy the way you did, tape him as prepared as you can, but then you see him up close and see what they do right there in the flesh? How, how great a difference was that for your expectations? Yeah, well, I'm very familiar with him. You know, we recruited him. He's from Texas, so I've seen him play before. And um, I understand Timmy's thoughts here, but, you know, I kind of understood maybe a little bit more than these guys what we were getting into. He's He's a really good player. You know, tonight I think the adjustment they made, you know, they were feeding the post from the middle of the floor a lot. Um, and we had some game plan stuff from the side, but we just couldn't hold him off in the middle. And then um, in terms of how you duplicate it or replicate it in practice, you know, you can talk all you want about Kevin McHale and pivots and pump fakes and all this, but until you see the skill that he has, it's hard. Um, we actually had a multi-layered game plan. We just didn't get a lot done. You know, we. We had a few successful possessions within the game, fronting him, siding him, guarding him with different people. But obviously, he was the best player on the floor tonight, no doubt about it. Why not one more double back? Because they have a lot of other good players around them. Um, but no, no question, fair question, right? We, should, we probably should have. Um, a lot of times we did, we were just making mistakes. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, people think of runs when you're coming from behind. We've had a few of these, just like everybody has. You know, it's not the offense. You know, it, you got to get stops. You know, while you're getting aggressive and while you're getting back in the game, you have to get stops, and we just couldn't. Um, I think we missed like three kind of untimely free throws that then we can't get into our press. We, we had some things we wanted to get into in the made free throw. We missed the free throw. Um, and just this early in the season, we're just not there in terms of playing together where we can do all the things we want to in these moments. But we'll, we'll get there for sure. Last one, but that's what I think is the second half. You guys go into the rim, you get more more shots in the paint, just, just a better overall mix. So like, that's something you can build on, right? Yeah, I think we were much more aggressive uh, in the second half. I mean, we have really good players, guys. We have a veteran team. Uh, this group's got a chance to be one of the best teams in the country, just like Gonzaga is. I thought the guys calmed down a little bit. We got we got extremely aggressive in the second half, and we scored, um, you know, almost 50 points in the second half. So um, I would agree that our defense, you know, your offense has to help your defense. It didn't in the first half, and your defense has to help in your help your offense in the second half. I mean, we were trying. We just got to get those timely stops. You got to catch a few breaks, and we just couldn't. Like the last play of the first half, we, you know, we make the right play, and there's a loose ball, and they throw it in. So that you know that didn't help either. Thanks all.